the corner of radio. We back at you live, young Barzini and Box Nine. What's up, bro? I can't believe it. It's the 30 day of the big showdown. Cal Brook versus Gennady Golovkin. What you, what you thought, man? Like, Cal Brook is weighing 176. And Triple G is weighing 165. Looks like to me, Kel Brook eating, re- eating pretty good, and Golovkin training really good. Staying around fight weight. I don't know, man. This tells me Kel Brook was killing himself to make 147. He had to be. You know what I'm saying? He probably got a regiment down. But uh, it is shocking to see that. Word 176, though? We then we we've been hearing I, I, like I, I, mumble. I was saying that then we we've been hearing about uh, that he was that he's big and you know I think he even said watch I'm gonna be heavier than Golovkin something like that, but I don't think the numbers you know never really came out until now like in 30 days. Hold up, so he's how much right? He's 176 pounds today. And he's got to cut right 15 now, pounds. Right now, today. And then he's got to cut down 16 pounds. Yeah. Like, this shit is just bananas, bro. He yeah, could be easily first. 190 pounds. I don't know how he's carrying that. He's five foot nine. You know what I mean? It's like, he's an inch shorter than Triple G, too. I don't know if he's just putting on weight and now he's going to shrink. Maybe he was just walking around at this weight. And now these 30 days, he's going to cut it. You know, he just wanted to gain muscle and then cut, you know. Um, I, I don't know. This is interesting. We'll see how he looks. It's going to be real. Now, it makes it interesting to see, like, how cut up he'll be at the weigh-in. You know what I mean? How how he'll look at 160 is going to be interesting. Like when Con when Con you know what, fought, I was just gonna ask you a question. When Con fought uh, Canelo, do you remember those thirty day weigh ins? Can't remember. Nah, I can't remember. But, yeah, I mean, I want to say like one seventy or something. Well, but yeah, what were you gonna say though? All I was saying is, man, I wasn't gonna talk about this fight. You know, I seen a lot of people talking about it. And I ain't really wanted to put my two cents in because Kell Brook is my second favorite fighter right now. Like, you know what I mean? I I I love I I love Kell Brook. What he does in the ring, I love what he does in the ring. So, and the Triple G matchup, I I just I didn't feel like everybody just said all the words that you can possibly say about the fight. So I didn't feel like putting my two cents in. But seeing the Wayne today is like wow. I was like I couldn't believe what I was <laughs> what I just witnessed. Does this um, make you think that he has but, more of a chance? But you know what's so crazy? I I'm this to me, man. I'm gonna have a different opinion than a lot of these boxing fans. We all know Triple G's a monster. Yes, he's he's the big guy. Okay, okay. But I got to go with my guy, man. I feel like the book is going to win this fight, man. I feel like, I feel like, man, I just think the kid's special. I just, I felt like he was as good as That's Andre nickname. Ward. I felt like he was as good as um, Crawford. As um in his division, I just feel like he's special, man. Um, I don't see Triple G knocking him out. You know what I mean? I've never seen um Kel Brook on like getting embarrassed. I've never yeah. seen him wobble, it drop. His defense is really like people don't talk about Kel Brook defense. He's really uh, sharp with the defense. I think he. He's been dropped you one time in his career, and it was like he's been like dropped one time in his career. But yeah, he got caught one time with a right hand, and then his glove touched the canvas, but he recovered. I think he got the TKO too. So yeah, this is back what almost ten years ago. 
when he when he was coming up. He is definitely oh, wow. one of the he's definitely one of the most skilled fighters in our in this era right now. A lot of people are gonna hate because he hasn't got a chance to prove himself. Yeah. Only against the Porter fight, where he stood there like a fucking wall. And yo, don't forget Sean Porter, who came up in the amateurs, beating up, fighting middleweights, and holding his own. Brooke was a wall. He like, so you figured, he, yeah. beat, he beat a lot of big niggas. So yeah, you know, Porter can put when he Porter fought, can put dudes back. Porter, Thurman's a big welterweight. He right. pushed him all over the ring. He pushed Thurman all over the ring, even though, you know, he didn't win that fight. It was a great fight. But he was pushing. He didn't toot that to Kel Brook. So it's going to be interesting, like. Yeah, he didn't toot that Brooks, shit. You know what I mean? He'll be off his Kel Brook standing he stand forward. And yeah, Kel Brook should be able to smother. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, Kel Brook will. Yeah, Kel Brook will be able to will be fighting off his back foot against the Lovkin. But at the same time, he'll be able to do his tying up and slowing momentum down. He'll be able to do all that shit. Look how big he is right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But the thing it's, is, I, well, on some real shit, I got to go with my guy, man. I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be a liar to be saying, yo, we all know we all know what Triple G can do. Stick with my guy. I believe in my guy. You know what I mean? I can't just say, yo, I don't believe in him now because he's fighting a monster. You know, a lot of the great um, champions like Hopkins, he went from middleweight all the way to light heavyweight, two divisions, and became the champion. You know what I mean? Beating up the yeah. shit out of Tarva and all these guys, man, a light heavyweight, man. Nah, I'm going to go with it, my yo, guy. Even Kel- Freddie Roach was his trainer. This nigga is crazy going to light heavyweight and beating up these guys. And Hopkins did it, so... You know what I mean? I know we know Kell Brook haven't fought the best competition. Yeah. Kel Maybe Brooke. he proved y'all guys all wrong, man. But I'll go with my guy. I, I'm smelling an upset. And even if Kell Brook lasts 12 rounds, it's still an upset in my opinion. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. Yeah, nobody really has Kell Brook in their pound for pound. But if he goes 12 rounds, say he wins four or five rounds, clearly. You know what I'm saying? And, and just doing some smooth boxing. I mean, if he goes 12 rounds with Golovkin and loses, he still, he, even with that L, I mean, he gains a lot. And he's, he's up there, man. He doesn't lose much. You know what I'm saying? Because he could go, but there's a lot of competition at 154. But uh, it's interesting because with the, how much weight he's at now, he'll never be 147 again. That that IBF belt should be going to Errol Spence sometime next year. Uh, be vacated. Because <laughs> I mean, you got to kill you. Uh, Bro, to, be one, to be <laughs> to be one seventy five light heavyweight walking around, and he's gonna just you, the way he cuts weight must be a bitch. Those last fucking couple weeks, man. Oh, I don't envy that shit. To get down to one forty seven. And you know what I mean? Ooh. Boy Mayweather will be scouting this fight to see how Kell Brook's doing. 